Hi guys. So, as you can see, I'm not really in filming mode. I'm in my uniform, my beanie and my gray t-shirt. This is like my everyday uni. I don't know why, but I wanted to get this video up for you guys. Lord knows you have all been so very patient with me. Thank you for that. Um, I really planned on doing this earlier today and like doing my makeup and then Hunter came home from college because he wanted to see his girlfriend. I was like a side note, you know, oh, I'm coming home to see my girlfriend. Oh, and my mom. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we were out all day running around shopping. So it is eight o'clock and I just got home and I'm like, I've got to film this intro. So excuse my very casual appearance. But that's not why you guys are here. You're here about the nails. I could be in a thong and coconut shells and you guys would still just want the nails. Your eyes would be bleeding, but you would still just want the nails. So plastic bag tutorial. I've been promising this to you guys for so long. I filmed it. I had audio issues and th this video has just been a disaster for over a month. So Fingers crossed, everything goes as planned. If you're watching this, I managed to get it up. So the plastic bag tutorial, it's very, very easy. It looks kind of fancy, but it's like the simplest thing in the world. I just wanna show you guys the polishes that I used and kind of things that you're gonna need, and then we'll get into the tutorial. So the first thing you need is a plastic bag. This is the one that I used. You can see I cut the edges off. I just cut a little square off of any type of plastic bag. Doesn't need to be any particular brand or size, just a little square that's going to fit over your nail. You just want to cut like the edge off or just a square, like a good size square that's going to fit over your nail with a little bit of hang on either side so that you can, of course, hold it. Um, the polishes I used were, were Dior's Glory, which I just got for my birthday, and it's such a beautiful coral shade. I used Essie Licorice, and I used OPI's My Boyfriend Scales Walls. Of course, I don't have this on my nails right now. I filmed this the other day. Um, another thing that I used that I briefly mentioned before in a video is the Liquid Palisades. I love this stuff. I mean, I use this every single time I do nail art. It's, I talked about it in, I think, a favorites video, but it's like it has this little brush, and you'll see in the tutorial, I just brush it around, like around my cuticles, and then if you get polish on your skin, this kind of dries. It's almost like glue, and you can just peel it off. So it really helps with cleanup. I will link them down below where you can purchase this. I know it's pricey. It's like $20, but I've had this one for, oh, like eight months, and I'm only about halfway, so it does last a long time. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I wanted to tell you guys. The main premise with the plastic bag manicure is... I usually just grab like three colors. You put a base color down and then just, you'll see, I just blob polish on my nail, smash it down with a bag. It's super simple. Now one thing I will say, a lot of times I will do it and it won't turn out right, so I'll take it off and do it again. This is a trial and error kind of thing. It's extremely simple. Anybody can do it, but there are going to be times that you do it, you take your bag off and you look at your nail and you're like, that looks like shit. Trust me, I usually have to do it like three times before it looks acceptable to me. So just don't get frustrated if you do it and it looks kind of bad. Just keep at it. I promise you, you guys will get it. So enough of me blabbering. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know down below. And yes, finally, let's get into the nails, Topaz. They want nails. Let's go. Nails that away. All right, so you guys know I suck at voiceovers, but we're gonna try to get this done. So first I'm gonna show you how I put on the liquid palisades. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm doing the plastic bag mani on my middle finger, so I just put down a white base, and I'm going around with the liquid palisades, and it takes about three to five minutes to dry, but while I'm putting it on, I try to pay special attention to the area like around my cuticle, because that's where the polish tends to like pull up. So I just put it on, let it dry for like three minutes, and we be goods to goes. And now I'm gonna give you guys like a little added bonus. I'm just doing these like abstract flowers on my 
Index and Pinky, I'm just taking black and white polish with a very small dotting tool and making kind of like flowers. They kind of look like flowers. The more abstract and like weird looking they are, the better. So anybody can do this. You don't have to be a professional. Trust me, I'm not. So I just take black and white polish, like I said, and make little funky, weird, like spiky flowers. But once it's done, it looks really cute. As I'm doing it, I'm like, this looks terrible. But I promise you, when it's done, it looks really cute. So I should probably just shut my mouth and let you guys watch because, again, it's self-explanatory. So I just fill in space, black and white. You can do whatever colors you want. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So how are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. <laughs> what are we going to do next? Now I'm doing the plastic bag. So I'm starting out with white polish and I'm blobbing it on my nail. Same with the coral shade. Just put blobs of polish down. I usually do two of each going in with black and then I took a little bit of the glitter that's on my ring finger just to add I find that glitter looks really really nice with the plastic bag method so then I take my little piece of my plastic bag and I kind of hold it in between my middle and my ring finger and then you just press it down this gets messy that's where the liquid palisades really comes in handy just pull it off and then I saw a little spot that didn't get the way I wanted it to so I just went back over with the plastic bag and you can see it's a mess so now you'll get to see what the liquid palisades looks like when it dries it looks like dried glue pretty much so I just take that off with my little snippers and this stuff is a lifesaver like it makes the biggest difference and again I will link them down below um, I don't know much about the company, but I know that this product freaking works. I was very skeptical. And then I just go in with my um, cleanup brush. I will link it down below. It's a new one I've been using, and it is amazing. It's so much better than the Sonia Kashuk brush that I used to use. It's from Ocean Nail Supply. I'm pretty sure. Number 16 brush, but I'll put it down below. So just cleaning up with some acetone. Still cleaning up. Get it, girl. Clean those cuties. And now, I think we're top coating. Maybe? Could I be right? Oh, I'm just showing you? Oh, there we go. Top coat. So I'm using my HK Girl, as usual, as always. And I don't wait very long to top coat with the plastic bag method. I kind of just clean up, and then I go right in with my top coat. And look how cute it looks. I love this manicure. I love how it turned out. So now what am I doing? Oh, are we flashing up my nails again? Oh, so pretty. I guess that's what we're doing. Okay, now I'm just cleaning up around my um, index finger. Now you may notice that the middle finger design is a little bit different. I ended up totally smudging the plastic bag nail and I had to redo it. So if it looks different throughout the video, that's why. Oh, then I took some glitter. Oh, God. Mom, I can't talk now. Then I took the same glitter that's on my ring finger, and I just made, like, centers for my little abstract flowers. And it really kind of pulls everything together. I did two layers. So I did it once, let it dry, and then I went back in and did it again. And it just, like I said, it just made everything look really cute. And again, I am top coating with my HK Girl, which I will link down below for you guys. If you're using Sesh Beat, I'm telling you guys you need HK Girl. It is so much better. It's just the best, especially for nail art. It doesn't smudge, and it dries in like a minute. I love it. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and now back to me. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little nail tutorial. Again, thank you so, so, so much for being so patient with me. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I love you guys. Thank you, as usual, for watching, and I will see you guys very soon with a new video. Mwah. Bye. So I think that's all I wanted to tell you guys. Oh, this is my ballerina shirt, but this is my dark one. Oh, I love it. Whole pants. Whole pants. Super simple. Super. Do you know how many times I said super in my haul video? I think I said it like 45 times. Super, super, super. If you say super again, me and you is going to go toe to toe. I'm going to give you the fair one. Oh, I do want to tell you guys something. I used this today, the Hangover RX. <gasps> Anoint. Anoint. It's really good. Like, it smells so good when you're putting it on your face. You just want to like... 
You just want to pump it into your mouth. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so bad. I love you. It's a good day. I have a good day. Wait, what was that song? It's 7 o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top cruising the streets. So I will link them down below. Um, Liquid Palisades. <gasps> For the whore in all of us. No, no. No. They're nice people. I think. I don't know them. But they're definitely not whores. I mean, they might be. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just move on. Who else? Look at all these tweeting whores. Who do we have? Taylor Nicole X. You little skank. Grey Duck Amy. Grey Duck Amy. Sherry and Rich. I will cut bitches. You can't put people on blast like that. That's not right. Well, I did. And I will do it again. Round and round. Round we go. I did round. You guys don't mind if I put my sweater on, right? This is like the biggest grandpa sweater ever, but I love it so much. I'm cold. It's cold in here. My little camel toe is frozen. Can you imagine a frozen camel toe? <gasps> I don't even want to think about that. But that would be better than like a, a burning one. You do not want your camel on fire. Trust me. They make medication for that. If you take off your clothes, that don't make you a hoe. Just get that money. Mm, I got like a fuzzy ball in my mouth. <laughs> I think it's going. <gasps> Welcome to the circus. And and you just like blob the polish on and uh, why don't tell them? They have to wait for the tutorial. That's why it's called a tutorial. A tutorial. A 